Minister, thanks for your time this morning. So will you be adopting all of those 18 recommendations? The government will be adopting all these 18 recommendations and we will be aiming to implement them um, within 12 to 18 months. I would also point out that this is the single biggest review of the triple zero service in over a decade. And whilst it came in unfortunate circumstances where so many tens of millions of customers were impacted, small businesses and consumers alike, it has given important guidance uh, for lessons for the future and things that need to be done to really lift the performance of triple zero. OK, well, let's let's um, explore that a little more. It says the report says mandatory requirements should be put in place regarding triple zero. So how will that change? That will go to issues of communication. There is currently a protocol uh, which, uh, as Richard Bean points out, wasn't followed by Optus um, in, in this instance. The lack of communication was one of the biggest issues, sharing that in real time, but also ensuring that government has at its disposal information that it needs in the case of a mass outage to ensure that relevant agencies are notified and appropriate steps can be taken from that side. So that's uh, one of the key elements. I would also point out one of the most important uh, factors that this Bean report goes to is that this is about consumers. It is certainly a feat of engineering that irrespective of where you are in Australia, people expect and people are able to get access to police, ambulance or fire when they mm. dial triple zero. Uh, but at the same time, this ecosystem takes uh, a lot of factors to work in it and part of Bean's criticism was everyone was doing their part but they stayed in their lanes and didn't think about how this worked across the system. So the establishment of a custodian uh, framework I think will be very important to be putting consumers first. What about that issue of compensation and penalties? I mean, is there going to be a fixed figure that um, will be landed on here? Well, Bean went to that too and didn't advocate a fixed figure, but did note that in ca cases of mass outages uh, in other sectors and in other jurisdictions, for example, it is far easier um, to get redressed. So it's part of, uh, for want of a better term, sort of a class action for which action doesn't actually need to be initiated, just taken as given that you've got so many customers and small businesses that are impacted. In this case, there were uh, customers who weren't sure of what their rights were. Of course, they would have had um, their own rights under contract and directly with Optus, but at the same time, they're able to go to the TIO. But having a much clearer framework for compensation and complaints in the case of a mass outage is one that the industry will develop.